All right, what's going on everybody? So today I want to talk a little bit about Studio Trigger and their big announcement at Anime Expo 2018. So for those of you guys who don't know, Studio Trigger, these are the guys behind Kill la Kill and um, Little Witch Academia, Darling in the Franks, and uh, Space Patrol, among a bunch of other anime. And these guys are basically opening up a Patreon in order to support their staff, in order to um, basically increase merchandising and then also um, allow for I guess more fan events like more fan events or whatever uh, later down the line and just hearing about this uh, just like my first initial reaction uh, to Studio Trigger opening up a Patreon like at first it didn't really sit right with me just because uh, I see a lot of people go on Patreon and you know start Patreons Usually when I see people start Patreons, it's, it's usually, it's usually um, a group of individuals or just a few individuals or maybe just one individual goes to Patreon in order to fund one of their small projects. It's not usually, usually I don't see really big studios like this go to Patreon. And so it kind of didn't really sit right with me at first because, I mean, Studio Trigger, someone like them, couldn't they just go to like big investors and just get a big investor to um, give them money toward toward the different projects that they want to um, do? And then also they could also I guess go to the bank or whatever. But here's the thing though, and here's something that um, here's something that I didn't really uh, think about at first is just that they could go to a big investor. But the thing is, is that with these big investors, they get, they will invest a lot of money into your project. But they want to know that, I and and on, honestly, there is no guarantee uh, with with I guess any sort of um, any sort of creative um, creative venture. But they want some type of guarantee that they're going to get their money back. Like they want they want a return on their investment. And so a show like Kill a Kill which was very crazy and out there and had a lot of fan service and stuff. Like a show like Kill the Kill or just any sort of any sort of show that kind of um, branches out and does something different might be a little too risky that, you know, um, investors might not want to give them money, might might not give the studio money to do um, to do those projects that Studio Trigger might want to do. It's sort of like it's sort of like the situation with uh, Ninja Theory before Ninja Theory, um, the game studio, got acquired uh, got acquired by um, Microsoft. That we just heard about that announcement just a few I want to say a few weeks ago or whatever. And the thing is, is that yeah, someone like Studio Trigger, you can look at the TV shows that they have done and and just about all their work and. They love to do different stuff, and what it looks like from this, from like what they're from what they're planning on doing with their Patreon, it just really seems like they're struggling to really, and I I could be totally wrong about this, but it seems like they're just really struggling to kind of keep the lights on, maybe, because an, another another thing that um, some people might not realize is that a lot of these studios, when they're like I guess. Um, putting out their like DVDs for their shows and stuff a lot of those DVDs and, and stuff don't be selling because a lot of the time what a lot of us fans like to do we like to go on uh, kiss anime or uh, go go anime you know any of those screaming sites that aren't really legal technically I mean even I've gone to those sites before but we go to those sites and and basically as a result someone like studio trigger ends up losing out on a lot of money because you're really you're really supposed to be buying those DVDs or or even you know subscribing to a service like like um, Funimation or Crunchyroll or, or whatever in order to get access to those shows and so this is something that we kind of brought upon ourselves and this is something that I, I think that could actually start being a thing with other with other animation studios depending on how successful um, Studio Trigger's um, Patreon is. Uh, so far they have 938 Patreons 
as as the time uh, as the time of me you know recording this video and they have already reached their goal of um, $1,500 a month and they are currently going to be getting three thousand uh, basically three thousand and ninety three dollars a month which is pretty good and like I said before all that money is going to be going toward um, it's going to be going toward basically um, future events you know planning I guess planning and organizing um, future events uh, some of that money is going to go toward their staff and then some of that money is definitely go going to be going to merchandise which was one of the reasons uh, like these reasons were some of the things that they, they said like this is the reason why we're going to patreon and I just want to read I want to read their official statement out for you guys just so that you kind of understand kind of understand um, why they're doing this patreon and so this is their official statement so they said we're a studio that strives for a global audience and values communication with our fans if you've been in a creative business I bet we can all relate that a simple feedback is all it takes to make our day great however there's no denying at times we kind of wish we had an extra buck or two there's been too many incidents there's been too many incidents where we have had to give up a merchandise idea because it was unprofitable or simply due to a lack of funding and that's where you, that's where you and patreon co comes in that's where you and patreon comes in with your support we would like to forward funds into various aspects of the studio possibly a new line of merchandise attending attending or conducting more events or simply providing a little more to our staff and so that's basically their official statement about this and again this just doesn't really sit right with me for just the reason that they could just go to a big investor but at the same time I can see it from their perspective because like I said before if they go to that big investor they might not be able they might be limited in what they can do creatively with their shows they might they might be sh they might be forced to to do an to do um, just a, a, another another generic shonen or something, you know they they might be shoehorned, they might be pigeonholed rather, they might be pigeonholed into doing something that they might not really feel as though you know that's their that's their passion and that's what they would want to do as far as a new project goes. So I can I can see it from both sides, you know some people might not like this idea, and I can see I can see this like I said I can see this. I can see this being a thing for other studios if this if this is successful but I think like I said before I think we kind of brought this on ourselves as far as um, these studios actually going to the fans for um, going going to the fans for support because we didn't support these DVD these um, DVD releases and stuff and like I've tried to before when it comes to um, some anime and stuff you know I've tried before to support anime like One Piece um, like for instance Funimation they put out their one piece DVDs and like I bought one volume right and then I bought another volume but then like the same I want to say the same day I, I received the volume the volume the, the whole volume of episodes basically was up on the internet and I'm like okay well this is a waste of money I might as well um, you know give it back to this give it back to the store and so that's what I did I ended up giving giving the copy back and getting my money back but you see what I'm saying like it's kind of hard for us as fans because the thing is we can get something free we can get something free and it's so accessible it's so it's very accessible and so it's kind of hard to kind of resist that temptation because uh, you know at the other end you know from the other side you know there, there are people that are that are you know not eating off of that there are people that are not getting money off of their work so I can kind of see it from their perspective so um, yeah that's pretty much all I gotta say about this like I said it doesn't really sit well with me that a big studio like this is going to the fans but at the same time I can see it from their perspective like I said if you look at studio triggers a uh, body of work um, they do a lot of interesting things especially with kill the kill um, kill the kill being one of the one of the only anime that I think I've watched from them they actually are a very they might be a very small studio I'm not sure but but they aren't they aren't a studio that's been around for a while they've only been around for six years and um, the most notable thing that I know from them is really kill the kill they got this new show called um they got a new show called darling in the franks that i don't know how that is but 
they're a really talented, really good studio. It's like between Studio Trigger and um, Production IG, they are really, they're really, really good at you know doing animation and stuff. And again, this is just their passion, and maybe that's, maybe they just want a, another, another way to kind of bring money in. And I guess there's nothing wrong with that, maybe. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about Studio Trigger, and you know what they're doing with this Patreon. Do you think it's a good idea for big studios like this to um, be going, going to the fans uh, for some extra cash, for for some extra support? Do you think? Do you think other studios will will um will follow suit? Do you think someone like Production IG or even uh, Gainax or someone like Funimation will will follow this route? I mean, cause again, just just you know, not to repeat myself, but it it seems like Patreon stuff like Patreon stuff like Kickstarter, but really Patreon. It seems like most of the time when I see people when I look at Patreons, it's mostly either a person one person or a group of individuals but it's not really a big company that really does these type of things so it's, it's something that I feel is kind of unprecedented even though it's probably happened before and I just don't know about it but yeah um, let me know let me know what you guys think about this studio trigger thing and um, like the video subscribe if you enjoyed listening and I'm out of here peace